In this video you will see how you can use PowerSim Studio and SOPS to analyze harvesting strategy for the cod fisheries in the Barents Sea. Here you see a PowerSim Studio model of a fishery. Uh, central in this model is the fish stock which increases by growth and which is reduced by harvests. There are two policies in this case. It's one policy that controls the harvest and that depends on the stock, so it's a feedback policy. And there is another policy which sets a constant capacity for the fishery. The criterion is the bank account at the end of the simulation. It's the same as having a net present value as a criterion. The bank account is influenced by the yearly profits and the yearly profits depend on the revenues from harvest and the costs uh, of having the capacity and of the fishing effort in each year, which in turn is influenced by the catch per unit effort. Now in this model there is this extra complexity that there is randomness. The yearly growth varies randomly, it's a stochastic process, and also the measurements of the fish stock that are used to determine the harvest each year varies randomly from year to year so that one doesn't know for sure what the exact stock size is. The two policies are defined by special function. Capacity is determined by a SOPS custom policy and in this case it's just a constant that is, has to be found. The harvest policy is determined by what is called the SOPS policy grid. It's a grid function with several parameters. We will not go into the details here and instead we move directly to the SOPS program. So we optimize with SOPS and then uh, we have cheated a little bit so that now we will enter a SOPS program that has all the parameters set and ready to optimize. We will make five searches. We use the gradient method as before. And in this case, we will use 100 Monte Carlo simulations. The Monte Carlo simulations produce different futures that the policy are, is tested against. And this is because of the uncertainty or stochasticity in the growth process and in the measurements. And we have a time horizon of 50 years. The assumptions in this case are given here. We have a standard deviation for the randomness in growth. It's a normally distributed function and it varies from year to year. It's a series. And similarly for the measurement error. And there is a constant down here. So these are the parameters. Then we have the grid policy. And the grid policy says that harvest should increase with the stock size, or at least it should vary with the stock size. And to begin with, we have no precise idea. So what we do is we just assume that for low um, stock sizes, it's zero harvest. And for high stock sizes, it's uh, harvest of one million tons per year. Then the custom policy shows the capacity parameter. The criterion is the bank account. And then we are ready to optimize. And in this case, there will be many more simulations per iteration because we have the 100 Monte Carlo simulations. So we see we are already up to 23,000 simulations of this model and the criterion is steadily improving and we'll let it search so you get a sense for how long it takes to find the first solution. And there we are. And now I stop the recording while we wait for the next four uh, searches to finish. And now the search is finished and we can inspect the results. So at the top here 
we see the best value, but we also see that all values are approximately the same. And the variation, standard deviation for the criterion values is as low as uh, 10 to minus 9 here. So it's very, very accurate. And if we look at the parameter values, we see that first it's a negative value, but that is overruled by a max function in the original uh, simulation program. So then it increases 0 0.36, 0 0.6, 0 0.74, 0 0.86, and 0.93. So we see that harvest is increasing with the stock size. We can look at the accuracy of these results. We click on standard deviation and we see that the parameters are determined with a very, very high accuracy. We can also look at capacity and here we see that it's also determined with high accuracy and the exact value is 0.8 million tons per year. Then as a final step we can look at the policy for harvest and see what it looks like. We just copy the results and then we move on to Excel and paste it there and then we see that harvest increases with the measured fish stock. And there we have our optimal policy for a case with stochastic variation in growth of the fish stock and with measurement error. This is a problem that is difficult to solve with stochastic dynamic programming because when using that method one will see that the state space is expanding, increasing when measurement error is introduced. With SOPS it's easy to make sensitivity tests. One can go back to the assumptions window and change parameters. For instance, changing the parameters for measurement error, one can find criterion values for different levels of, of measurement error and by doing that one can find how much is the criterion value increasing when the measurement error is reduced. And then of course one can compare the gains to the costs of increasing the accuracy of measurements. So there are many things one can do with SOPs to analyze uh, difficult optimization problems. So good luck with your use of SOPs and PowerSim Studio.